Several airlines and resorts have made it easier to cancel reservations during the pandemic, but consumer reporter John Mattery shows us why you got to double check those policies ahead of time in his Don't Waste Your Money report. Going on vacation right now is risky. Cruise ships are turning around. People are getting quarantined if they test positive in another country. So how can you protect yourself if you're traveling? Omicron has been wrecking plans for many people, including uniform maker Jan Ball, who just canceled a trip to visit friends. We decided because of the virus that we didn't want to take that risk of bringing something into their home. So she logged onto Allegiance website and requested a voucher for future travel. But she was charged more than $300 on four tickets for excise taxes, security fees, and baggage fees. I didn't know that they were going to charge all those fees that totaled three hundred forty four dollars. So did you try calling them? Yes, can't get through. It's busy, busy. Airlines, cruise ships and resorts have made it much easier to cancel a trip since the pandemic began. But that still doesn't mean you won't be hit with unexpected fees, especially if you book a discount airline or a basic economy seat on a major carrier. Those are those super deep discount uh, tickets that are you know, offered usually without a carry on bag. And I avoid those because those in many cases cannot be changed. Zach Griff at the Points Guy says avoid basic economy right now. Check cancellation policies before you book a vacation. Consider what's called cancel for any reason insurance and pay a bit more for a fully refundable ticket. After we contacted Allegiant, the airline removed Jan's fees for canceling, but she worries for other travelers. It's ridiculous. Until COVID subsides, check the cancellation policy before you book a trip so you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC 27 News.